what's going on everybody jesse sanchez here on today's video i want to do a beginner's guide for handling your high school education plan with the Celis academy the process can be a bit confusing and you should definitely watch this video to make sure you're taking the correct classes towards graduating the fastest way possible and picking the right graduation pathways that depending on what you're planning to do after graduating there's two options to choose from Let's get started. If you're approaching the high school level grades, which start at the ninth grade, or even if you have begun high school with a status already, you need to make sure to work on your high school education plan. Once you set up the education plan and you go to add classes, it's going to make things easier easy without having to do any guesswork. Now there's two pathways. The standard pathway is intended if you plan on going to community college, the military, or going to work right after high school. And the honors pathway, which is more rigorous, it's intended if you plan on attending a competitive college or university. Now let me tell you some of the differences between the two paths. The honors pathway has honors courses for math and science. It also requires 26 credits to graduate and the standard path requires 24 credits. Finally, the honors pathway has the additional foreign language subject as an additional requirement. Now to get your high school diploma, simply meet all the required credits for each subject in the previously created education plan. For example, looking at the honors pathway, you're going to need four credits of English, one credit of algebra, three credits of mathematics, three credits in science, etc., etc. Each class that you take is going to be either half or one credit. Once you acquire all the credits for each subject and reach the 26 required credits, you can simply apply for the high school diploma. Also, keep in mind if you happen to have any excess credits for any subject, those credits will automatically be applied towards the general electives, which requires six credits. For example, my son took two excess credits in practical arts. Those are not wasted and they're going to count towards electives. So. Now let me show you an example of picking the education plan starting with the standard pathway. In the Acelis Parent Portal, go to Manage Enrollment. Under High School Graduation Plan, select Edit. It might say Setup or something along those lines if you have not set this up yet. Select your current grade level. Select your goals after graduation. I will choose attend trade school and I'm not sure on the major, so I'll leave it at that. I select the standard pathways and notice how it says this method is recommended based on the answers from the previous step. I will click not importing credits, skip this step. Now under each subject, notice how it says four credits of English required. So I have already selected the four that my son will be taking. It will show as course completed if it's already done, enrolled if you are currently taking it, or nothing if it's for the future. Repeat this step for each subject where you can meet all the credits acquired per subject. Once you finish each section, you will see the results of how many total assetless credits are required and how many you will be taking. Try to match the required credits as much as possible. It's okay if you go over a bit, but you will not meet the requirements if you are under. Hit save and continue to save all the changes. I'll follow the same steps as before, but I will now choose the honors pathway. I will choose primary goal, attend college, four year college, and not sure on a major. Under the honors pathway, it now shows as recommended and I will click on select this pathway. 
I'm not going to be importing any credits. And this will take me to the final plan of study. Here, go through each subject and choose the classes you're going to be taking. Try to only choose the minimum required to meet the requirement. For example, under English, choose four credits of classes. If I'm short on classes, it will show with red letters that more credits are required. Go through every section and once you finish, make sure to meet the total required credits. Hit save and continue. Now, when you go to add courses, you can use a previously created education plan to make sure you are taking the correct classes that will get you graduating. While learning is good, you don't want to waste time or being in the wrong classes for your program. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found value. I do not work and I'm not sponsored by a Celis. I just love their program for our kids and I find it useful helping others through some of these guides to hopefully save you some time. Feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to personally respond to you. Give this video a like so it can spread to other people and subscribe to our channel for more free tech content. Until next time, Ultratech out.